Thank you kindly. How are ya? <laughs> Quick shout out to Moon. Moon is getting smoother and smoother. We ain't gonna make you walk the plank. We're gonna keep you around for a real long time. Thank you for that. Thank you, babe. <laughs> I have added recently to my resume, I have added teacher, which is a very weird thing to think that according to my resume, I'm now qualified to impart wisdom of fool to other people. The truth, you guys know this because you've been around while I learned it. Um, I'm an idiot, and I have no business educating anyone. But I have been, and it's brought up some, some very strange and, and very real moments for me. I, not, not long ago, I had an opportunity where I walked into a gym space where we were doing some rehearsal and some workshop, and I found a performer, fetal, crying. But my first thought is medic. And I walk up and I look down. A little voice comes up from inside the ball. I am not injured. And I realized that I knew this moment really, really well. This is the moment where someone, someone failed. And I have, a, failure is something I know about. And I'm looking out and I'm realizing I'm, I'm lording over somebody and it's all wrong. So I lay down on the floor, on the mat that's soaking wet with tears next to this person. And I say, what's wrong? I fell, obviously being the answer. I'm not hurt, but I know exactly, I know exactly how far I have to go now. I went looking for something to say, because you can't lay on a floor next to someone like you're there for them and not have any wisdom to offer, even if you're an idiot, you know that. And I remembered a sound came to mind. Has everyone here heard Kasha Reese laugh? <laughs> Kasha! <Andrew>. Chicken! <laughs> this is the greatest sound I ever heard. The first time I ever heard it and the reason for the joke, the key trigger word was I was on a bridge in the middle of nowhere. They had shut it down for a festival. And we had developed this gag where her clown character was allergic to chickens. It, it's kind of, it's just going to happen. And it was her first day with the circus freaks. And it was also Rachel Hollett's first outing as Tick, the clockwork doll. And the two of them were in their best costuming. And when I saw a crate with 90 water balloons show up, I realized what my job was that day was not to perform, but to be a human target. I had to fail spectacularly enough to make a half a dozen children very, very angry, so they would throw all of the water balloons at me. And after I did, I, I freaked out, and I had to walk away. And I walked to the far end of this bridge, where there was nobody, where the festival is way on the other side. And I just kind of cooled off for a minute, which was easy because I was on a bridge soaking wet from water balloons and wool pants. And then I heard this sound, chicken. <laughs> I'm a quarter mile away. I'm a quarter mile away and I hear this sound permeate the air like it's next to me. This amazing laugh that just went on for hours and I start walking back. And it's a long walk back. I was good and mad when I left, but by the time I'm coming back, I'm just tired because it's a long walk back. And every step, I hear this laugh, and it kept me going. And it kept me going all the way until I got back and, and got to be a part of the show for a few more minutes. I finished telling this story to this friend who's laying in a ball on the floor. And I say, everyone knows about failure. How many people here cheer for this performer if you know something about failure? And I bet you that many people also learn something from it. I have a new sound effect that is my new favorite sound. It is the sound of victory. It's one that I'm going to carry with me for the rest of my life. And I like to pretend 
that I said some part of that story was just motivating enough to make it happen, but I know it wasn't about me and I'm, I'm so proud of that. I turned my back and behind me as I was walking away, I heard the gentle sound of a pair of feet touching down on a mat and the squishy sound of someone standing up. And that to me is now officially the sound of victory. The hardest thing you're ever gonna do is realize just how hard it is once you have this new thing you wanna try, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. When you realize you've gotta try it and how far away you are from it, because it's new to you, it is the hardest thing you have ever done. When you see Sam, someone stand up here tonight, when you see someone bring this game for you, realize you're not just cheering you're not just cheering for this moment. You are cheering for every note they sang off key, for every time they fell down, for every prop they dropped. You're cheering for the entire time it took to learn to be brave enough to even consider standing up here at the open stage. Welcome all. <laughs>